Robinson as trainer, Eddie Aliano as cut man, and his brother Andy Rusk. And the bell now. Round four action begins. A long right that connected after a left lead had connected. Melendez dropped his gloves and backed off for just a second. Somehow he seems startled by the length of that right. Stanley Christodoulo, Republic South Africa, the referee. 16 years he's been a referee. Rossman straight up. Straight ahead. The left is principal instrument. Set up the right. There, you saw that counter punching right by Rossman. Galindez trying to get inside, and Galindez's head snapped back by that Rossman right. Reach edge with Mike Ross. Melendez wants to get inside and use that body strength of his. Here the man wanting to leave himself open with too much respect for the other. that left. Meanwhile, Galindez's lefts are not quite reaching the opponent. Or if they do, they are picked off in the main. Wild right. He was not staggered by a blow. The crowd misread it. He was off balance. Galindez was. Rossman has Galindez directly above us. And Galindez got in a left to Rossman that stung him. Appearing wild in his movements, but still effective because of his body strength. Got to always be careful with that player. Good Galindez left, and another left. Now they're beginning to mix it up. Look at Galindez as Rossman was trying to tie him up. Punching to the kidneys, and they hurt. Take, take down, turn on a fighter, wear him down. Fourth round action, and we're not that far away from the end of the round. Lindez again with the right into the midsection. Or the side and the kidney, really. Coming to the end of round four. A tough round. Hurt Rossman, first with a left, and then a strong right uppercut. And you see the scene in the ring as hard feelings flare. And the man in Galindez's corner coming out to get at Rossman, blaming Mike for the activity that occurred after the bell had rung. <laughs> Let's look at it in slow motion. Now watch this action. You saw that left that hurt him, another left, right. Rossman trying to hold on, and there was the uppercut, and Galindez, at the end of the round, had taken command. Now watch what happens. Galindez starts arguing with a fan. That's Andy Rossman, Mike's brother who came into the ring. So Mike went after Galindez, and now it's round five, and we've got a wild scene and the makings of another brawl. Galindez becomes the aggressor. He is tigerish. A wild left missed. Galindez, oh, that right got in there. Galindez is making the fight and more effectively than he fought at any time last September. Rossman's face is red from the blows he took at the end of the fourth round. Rossman, at this point in time, must be careful. He must keep his composure. He must forget the altercation with the brother Andy. The crowd is on its feet as Melinda has Rossman again against the ropes. That high, sweeping left hook of Melinda's is beginning. 
beginning to get through now. And it has tremendous power in it. He destroyed Jorge Almada with it, Richie Gates with it, others with it. This is coming to you live from the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. And suddenly a turn in the fight in the fourth round as Galindez began to take over. lead it came to the back of the head Rossman just said to Chris Dodolo have him stop it he was butting using the head sure Lindez has always done that the head the shoulders the arms the elbows everything this is the fifth round we almost had a melee here at the end of the fourth now. Look at him go to the belly with that left, though Rossman picked it off. That one picked off. That left got in. Rossman now is taking it, and it is Galindez who is the aggressor. <laughs> Coming to the end of the round. A cut on Galindez's brow, just above the brow. I don't know if you can see it. But now the end of this, the fifth round coming up. Bell for round six and the makings of a tremendous fight once again. The blood on the brow was above the brow, seemed to be more on the scalp of Victor Galindez. Thus far, no blood where it would hurt him and his fighting ability most, above the eyes. Rossman has not been able to open those cuts up, those old cuts. He did it in the fifth and sixth rounds of their first fight, and after that was able to dominate. Let's see if there's a repeat. I have given the last two rounds to Victor Galindez, who came on strongly and stung Rossman very, very much in the fourth round just before that action after the battle. A good left by Galindez. He is now getting that sweeping left hook in there. He's coming over Rossman's right again, and you saw Rossman's head. Galindez making effective use of that left. A wild right miss. And Rossman grows more cautious. Galindez going down to the belly with the left. The right lead occasionally, and it's been working to a reasonable degree, though once it cost Galindez when Rossman counted very effectively. No change in Rossman's style, stance, posture. Straight up, trying to use that left. Ultimately set up the devastating right. But in the meantime, Galindez having the look of a sharp fighter. And once again, a very exceptional fighter. The way it was before last September. And right, cut in to Rossman. The Rossman effectively picked off Galindez's earlier blows. The ultimate right got in. Mike is now feeling the kind of punishment Galindez can render. Mike got in two quick left jabs. As this fight progresses, if it does, a good right by Galindez, stinging Ross. Then condition becomes a factor, and maybe Rossman's youth will work for him. Maybe. Incidentally, in the interview, Mike said he thought it would. He also said he was going to do more body punching in this fight, but that has not been in evidence. This is the sixth round, and we are approaching the end of it. Now the end of the round at hand. 